other ones here. Okay. All right, so this is starting to come together. The steering works. This here, this pedal is the brake and the clutch pedal. That works. Let me show you how that works really quickly though. Okay, so this belt is what transmits power from the engine to the transaxle right here. This is the input shaft of the transaxle. It's just like you would have on a normal riding lawnmower. Um, underneath there, you have your engine up front and your transaxle in the back, and there's a belt that kind of snakes all through the underside of the lawnmower back to the transmission. This is much shorter, but it's the same principle. So when the belt is nice and taut like this, this idler pulley is tensioned, that keeps the belt nice and tight, and when it's like that, the power is transmitted right to the, the transaxle. When you shift though, this is a little shifter linkage here, when you shift, you don't want any power to this because you want to be able to shift smoothly without like crashing the gears against one another. So, what you do is you step on this pedal, it pushes the idler pulley out a little bit. Now the belt is loose, so the belt just is slipping on the pulleys, and there's no power going to the axle, and you can shift gears. This is also connected to this little um, mechanical brake right here. There's a little brake rotor that's built into the transaxle with a little mechanical linkage that would normally be connected to the brake pedal on your lawnmower. So I've also connected that to this this clutch linkage. So when you push this in a little bit, I have this in neutral right now. So you're riding along, imagine you're in gear right now and the belt is tensioned and you want to change gear. So you push the pedal in a little bit, that loosens the belt. You can see the brake is not engaged because it's still it can still roll back and forth, but the belt's slipping so you can change gear. Then if you want to brake, you push this in all the way. The belt is still loose, so you're not going to be burning up the belt when you're trying to stop. But now it's pushed back all the way, the brake lever engages. You can see I try to push this back and forth. The, the rear wheels are locking up. So that's how that works. All right, so now the couch, as you can see, is kind of set onto the frame there. And the last big thing I need to do is figure out the shifter. Um, this is the, the shifter linkage built into the transaxle here. So this, this little shaft here moves uh, back and forth and that shifts through your gears. So what I need is a lever up here that you can move while you're sitting in the couch, something that moves back and forth up here that then moves this thing back and forth down here. So how is that gonna work? Well, this is how it's gonna work.
All right, and that is how that's gonna work. You can see it moves nice and smoothly. Um, the types of nuts that I use to attach it all together um, are these ones here. You can see they have that little uh, dimple in the side there. That actually crimps the threads in so that it, it locks onto the bolt when you thread it on. So that eliminates the need for any sort of um, lock washers or doubling up the nuts on there. I can just thread those on until it's, it's still loose enough for the joint to move, but it will hold it into place and not come loose. So that's pretty much all it is. All the way back is reverse, then one up from there is neutral, and then you have your gears one through six ahead of that. So really not a lot to it. All right, we're getting closer here. We got the wiring in now. See, I just used the um, wiring harness from the lawnmower. There's a solenoid there. I got a new battery in. It comes up here, up on the steering wheel here. You've got your push button start and your kill switch. Comes down here. All the wires are the same color, uh, but it works. Here, give it, a, give it a push there. You can see it's cranking over. I don't have any oil in the engine or anything like that, so we're not gonna start it yet. Uh, but that's working. All that stuff to do is actually mount the couch and hook up the throttle and we should be ready to go very soon. All right, so I've had this thing out a little bit, put a, put a couple miles on it. Everything is holding up quite nicely, really. Um, we've had no, nothing major um, break on it yet. So I've made a pole here to mount a GoPro on the back so you can get a nice view while I'm riding it. So now I'm going to take this thing for a proper test drive.
All right, well, as, as you can see, this thing really moves. Um, top speed, just from like a, using a speedometer app on my phone, is about 23, 25 miles an hour, uh, which is really fast for a couch. Um, but I'm sure that I could get it a little bit faster if I wanted to. Um, but it's really not that scary to drive. Um, you got armrests on both sides that really make you feel like you're not gonna fall off at all. Um, and the steering wheel is something nice and strong to hold on to. So I'm sure you'll see more of this in the future, but for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.